Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 24th, I think. You know, the timing is fluid, so it really doesn't matter. Um, let me just see something. I'm trying to fix the light. Anyhow, the timing is fluid. All right, I don't know if I like that better, but it is what it is, right? Turn back <laughs> Anyhow, what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Ooh, we get the Page of Cups reverse and the Hierophant reverse. So I'm not sure if we have a rejection here. Maybe there's no commitment. Uh, the Page of Cups reverse is unrequited love, one-sidedness. Maybe it uh, could be a rejection. Somebody may be getting their bubble burst. Um, it's one-sided. There's relationship problems, commitment problems. Um, somebody's having a hard time doing the right thing. Maybe they maybe we, maybe we have a commitment phobic here. You know, somebody doesn't really want commitment. Um, possibly. Oh, now I got them upright as I'm looking at them. Isn't that funny how that happened? Hmm. So this is about love. It is about it's about love and commitment. Period. With these two cards. Okay. Now, the Page of Cups is typically, you know, flirting, falling in love, messages of love. Uh, we could have a secret admirer here. Could Something about love, messages of love. Now, let's just get some more cards. Hierophant's about commitment. You know, it's, it's ruled by Taurus. Um, we also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio there. But a message about love. This is about love, okay? It's about a commitment. I don't know if we should turn that light back on or not. Should we turn the light on? I don't know. I got two remotes here. Okay. I guess we'll turn the light on. <laughs> well, what do we have for a message today? It's about love and commitment. It's about expressing feelings. Okay. Ooh. Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is about love. It's all about love. Okay. It's all about feelings. Cover's on that cup. I really, I don't understand why the cover is on the cup. When the cover is on the cup, the love's not flowing. Okay. It's not flowing freely. King of Wands reversed. So King of Wands reversed. On the bottom of the deck, we have two cups in reversed. So two of cups in reversed could be a separate separation, a detachment from a partnership. We've been talking about this. Um, unhappy couple, a couple that's not on the same page. My hands are cold, so I'm not sure if something has gone cold. King of Wands reversed. Maybe we may have somebody here that lacks self-confidence or something like that. Let me get another card for that King of Wands reverse. can mean so many things. Mm, we have somebody here that is having a hard time. They're struggling, maybe in some sort of fear or they're not giving. What is it? I need another card. What is this? King of Wands reversed. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups about happiness. It's about happily ever after, right? It's about a happy relationship. The King of Wands in reverse is somebody that may lack confidence, lack willpower, lack determination, not taking any action in regards to a relationship. Could also be getting angry. I mean, the King of Wands reverse could be anger, somebody that's entitled or uh, maybe, I have another card. Strength reversed, weak, weak. Okay, no courage, no confidence, no willpower. So somebody is weak, they're weak. They're being held back by fear. So somebody's being held back by fear. Maybe it's fear of commitment, we did see that. Fear of, you know, that 10 of cups is definitely commitment. Thinking about commitment. Uh, strength, strength card reverse is like cowardly behavior next to the King of Wands reverse. I feel like maybe we got somebody here that's being a coward. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ooh, sun card reverse next to the Queen of Cups. We got somebody here who's really not happy. There's no growth in this partnership because we had the two of cups reversed. There's no growth. There's no, there's loneliness due to disillusionment. There's broken, there's, there's definitely relationship problems. There's darkness, lack of clarity. 
definitely very emotional. Somebody's in their feelings. They're in their emotions. They're in a dark situation. They've been in the dark. They've been in the dark. Um, very unhappy. Definitely, we have somebody here that's very, very unhappy with their current circumstances. Um, maybe missing light and not enlightened. You may have somebody here that's not very enlightened, you know. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Well. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So the Queen of Pentacles is somebody that, you know, she's grounded, she's stable, she's a hard worker, she's a, this a businesswoman, okay? So this is somebody who is very focused, very focused on their money, very focused on their stability and their security. Looks like she has an opportunity, she, ha she has that opportunity to manifest, okay? She, this is a worker. Um... <laughs> She's holding on to what she has. She's holding on to her value. She's holding on to, you know, her stability. She is stable and she has a lot to offer. So interesting. I mean, she's a businesswoman. She is. So the Queen of Pentacles is, it's like she has a golden opportunity in her hands. I feel like this King of Wands, I mean, that's indecisive in reverse. This is somebody that can't make a decision. We have two queens. And a king of wands in reverse. This person with the strength card reversed under underneath it. I mean, I can't make it up. I can't make it up, okay? This is somebody that is acting. This is a coward, okay? This is a coward. It is. This is somebody that may have control issues. You know, this person has control issues. They don't want to give up control. Maybe they have a big ego. These are both big ego in reversed. Um, therefore, they, they're staying in a situation because they're afraid because of their ego. There's, you know, their ego might get hurt, you know, if they make a change. This is definitely fearful. Very, very fearful. But there's an opportunity. But behind that king of wands, there's happiness. There's an opportunity for happiness. But there's indecisiveness here. So somebody's very indecisive. Definitely thinking, but struggling. Struggling in a place of fear, cowardly behavior. Um, obviously we got two choices here, a queen of cups and a queen of pentacles. Queen of cups, like I said, appears to have the cover on the cup. Okay. The cup should be free flowing. I don't, I, I would never cover the cup. Okay. The cup should be open. Okay. The, the, the emotions should be open. They shouldn't be closed off. So I feel it in behind that queen of cups is the sun card reverse. So I may I have somebody here that is emotionally closed off. Okay. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles underneath. She has a golden opportunity in her hands. It's very stable, very solid, very real. This is something you can touch. This is something you can take to the bank, okay? This is an opportunity that can lead to long-term abundance with hard work and perseverance. But we have somebody here that isn't finding their strength. They're not finding their courage. They're not finding their willpower to... <laughs> go after their happiness because the Ten of Cups is about happiness. So if you want to stay in a cowardly state of mind, then hey, that's what it is. You do what you got to do. Um, King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. But I guess we have somebody here that could be the King of Pentacles. King. Of, I mean, this king could be the King of Pentacles. Oh my God. This is somebody that has all the abundance in the world. But, you know, I read a quote the other day, and I think I posted it on Facebook. I can't remember. I think I did. Um, something about a man's success depends on the woman he is with if he's in a partnership. It was something along those lines. Now, you can be uh, with somebody that's fluid and goes around in circles. If you think about water, what does water do? No offense. Okay. No offense, seriously, okay? It's, it's all over the place. Or you can be grounded and stable and solid. It's up to you. Anyhow. Um, oh, magician reverse. So this is no success. Unwilling to do anything, not taking any action. So we have somebody that's not going to be successful, okay? 
This is no resources. Uh, you may have unplanned, no planning, not planning to take any action. But it's right behind the, key, the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe the Queen of Pentacles is saying no. Somebody's saying no. The sun is reversed is no, and the magician reversed is no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Um, so the answer is no. The sun reversed and the magician reversed. No success. We have somebody here that needs to be fluid, but they also need to be grounded because we have fluid and grounded here. You know, it's, it's good to accept change, which is the fluid, really, but you also need to be grounded. So there's somebody needs to be practical. They need to be realistic with the Queen of Pentacles energy. That's somebody who's very much, you know, practical, very responsible, worth, I'm going to work for this. I'm going to work for my stability. I'm going to work for my security. I'm going to work for my abundance. You know, and I know my value and I'm going to hold on to my value because I worked so hard to get here. And then the Queen of Cups bases everything on their emotions, their feelings. So there's a need to listen to your intuition. Somebody needs to listen to their intuition, but they also need to be practical. I feel like somebody needs to manage their feelings right now and make a practical decision based on their happiness. Because right now, there's no success. There's no resources. There's a lack of resources. There's a lack of growth. And it's because of somebody's cowardly behavior. We definitely have cowardly behavior here. You know, we have a seven of cups on the bottom. That's options, exploring options. You know, choose wisely. You have other options. Maybe this is what this is about. Maybe this is about considering your options. Do you want to deal with somebody that doesn't follow through? That doesn't have courage? You know, that isn't strong? I mean, do you want somebody who's strong that is going to make bold moves or do you want somebody who's weak? And this is about exploring options. Well, somebody is exploring options or they need to explore their options. Be careful. This is a card of consequences and it goes for everybody here on the table. What you own owns you, so choose wisely. If you wanna live in lack where there's no success, well, that's your choice. If you wanna live in abundance, well, that's your choice. If you wanna live in illusion, and I'm sorry to say that, but that's a queen of cups energy. I am very sorry to say that, but that is the truth, okay? It's very fantasy type of energy. And this is illusion. You can look it up. So you can choose to live in a state of illusion or you can choose to be practical and real and step into happiness, but that's gonna take courage and willpower and discipline. And you have to replace your fear and you have to be practical and you have to be realistic. You gotta manage your feelings, master your emotions. And if you gotta tell somebody no, you gotta tell somebody no, because what you own owns you. Be careful, be careful with your choices. This is a big, huge choice on the table here. It is. This is a card of choice and consequences. There's consequences for your choice. So choose wisely. Two of wands. Two of wands is at a crossroads. Here's your choice. Do you stay or do you go? This is, this is a decision. There's options. The grass is probably greener on the other side. It probably is. This guy has the whole world in the palm of his hands, but he has to step forward. He has to. We have somebody here that has been uh, waiting, waiting for the moment. This could be a spur of the moment decision. This is leaving, could be suddenly leaving. Somebody may be, make, be, may be making a spur of the moment decision to suddenly leave a partnership because twos are about partnerships to leave a partnership behind because there's no growth. There's no success. There's disillusionment. There is, there is. The sun card reverse is disillusionment as well. So we have a lot of disillusionment here. Somebody's been in their feelings. They've really been in their feelings with that queen of cups energy. It doesn't matter what sign you are. I know my hair is a mess. We went to the fair and it is what it is. Anyhow, um, so there's some sort of illusion here, definitely. There's a need to 
come out of illusionment and make your decision. Do you want to continue to... I feel like we have rejection here because we have we, with the sun card reversed and the magician reversed and the page of cups that we saw reversed. This is about love and it's about commitment, you know, and it could be unrequited love. There's no reciprocation. You know, if there's no reciprocation, then why invest, right? Then why, if there's no commitment, you know, and there's a lack of faith here. Um, oh, page of cups and reversed. So may, somebody may be getting rejected. They may. This is uh, tears. There's some sort of insincerity here. We have somebody here that's, you know, uh, not getting what they want. They're not getting what they want because there's a lack of emotion or there's a lack of feelings or there's a lack of love, right? Page of Cups reversed. Somebody has their heart set on somebody that is emotionally unavailable that really doesn't want commitment. Maybe you got to be practical and realistic and uh, ground yourself and come out of your illusion and choose another option. Maybe you need to choose to move forward and not look back. I mean, that's what it looks like to me with that two of wands. I mean, this is definitely about a partnership. It could have to do with a business partnership as well. Queen of Pentacles is a business-oriented person that is very uh, good at business transactions, money, making money. The Magician Reverse is unplanned. It's right behind the Queen of Pentacles. There could be an unplanned lost opportunity here. You may have somebody here that's just deciding that this isn't a good match the lovers reverse this is a separate separation a detachment you know this is a, and this could be a male or a female that's making the decision this is a choice as well so we definitely have a big choice here this is a detachment from a partnership there's no unity there's there's a one-sidedness and when there's a one-sidedness, then it takes two. It takes two, you know? So that's like a separation of some sort. No partnership. There's no partnership here. There's, there isn't. No growth. There's no growth. It's not, somebody's not happy. They're really, 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 really not happy. They're not happy. There could even be some tears being shed because of, their, of a rejection. I feel like it's because of a, a rejection, you know? Somebody's making their choice and I feel like there's a rejection here. And there's, there's two choices. There's definitely two choices here with the, at least two choices, maybe even more with the Seven of Cups. And maybe that's why somebody has been afraid and I do see fear to get in a commitment because then they have to give up all their other options, you know? Commitment will do that to you. Um, page of Wands, Page of Wands in the upright. There could be an offer or an invite that is coming. This is a positive new direction. Somebody is probably going to be going in a new direction. This is good news arriving. This is somebody that may be finding their courage to do something. This is brave. This is bold. So somebody may be doing something brave, you know, uh, traveling in a new direction. It could happen suddenly. This could, and the same with the two of wands, could be very sudden. Could be a sudden, suddenly leaving, suddenly leaving a situation, going in a new direction. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> an offer, an invite could come that is just perfect. You know, it's just perfect. It's a perfect, because the page of wands can be somebody that bursts into your world out of nowhere. This is like a, a suitor. It's like a new suitor that you have so much in common with. You know, that's what the Page of Wands is. It's like a new suitor that just bursts right into your world out of nowhere and it's exciting. So there is uh, actually an exciting opportunity here with the Two of Wands as well. 
There is an opportunity for happiness. There is. There definitely is. And something may have happened that was unplanned because the magician reverse is unplanned. Twos are about change. So this is an unplanned change. Maybe an unplanned change of heart. There may be an unplanned change of heart. Maybe somebody has been in the dark about a situation, you know, and they get some sort of epiphany or something. <laughs> Nine of Cups is a chance to have it all. There is a chance to have it all. This is, this is pleasure. This is happiness. This is pleased as punch, right? This is, this is somebody that has a chance to have wish fulfillment. They do. But, they, but what comes before the Nine of Cups? The Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is walking away from an emotionally disappointing situation into wish fulfillment, if that's what you want. But you have to walk away from the emotionally disappointing situation to have dreams come true. Okay, this is about happiness. This is wishes coming true. Realizing your dreams. Going after your dreams. This is abundance, prosperity. Having it all. There's a chance to have it all. It's like this is your wish. This is your wish. This is your dream come true. This is, will make you so happy. But you're going to have to replace your fear with faith. And you have to walk away from a situation that is emotionally disappointing. That you're not getting anything out of. Maybe you need to focus on yourself. Maybe self-love is important here. Maybe you need to be maybe you need to focus on your value, your self-value. This is about self-value, it's about self-love, it's about stability, it's about security, it's about abundance, it's about well, I just cut it to the justice, but I've closed it. It's about the truth. <laughs> I swear you went to the fair today and this is what happened. Anyhow, um so that's making a fair and just decision based on the facts, based on the truth, a final decision. And we do have a decision here. I think it's something could happen very suddenly. It could be a spur of the moment, very spontaneous, unplanned. It could be an unplanned departure. Um, suddenly leaving, stepping into new territory. Um, it's so funny because when I look at this card, it's like this is somebody that is gonna, going to have it all. I mean, that is very content. That is his satisfaction. This is uh, really, really happy. You know, this, this is happy. So I feel like we have somebody here that is, well, happiness is right around the corner. It could definitely be right around the corner. But there's some sort of control issues here or ego issues or fear issues. Ah, oh, we do have somebody that's moving on. They are. They're leaving something behind. They're going to a better place. This is traveling in a new direction. Absolutely. This is, this is going somewhere. So we have somebody here that is about to leave a very troublesome situation behind where there's been a lot of waves. There's, it's been rocky. It's been rough. This is the transition. This is the rite of passage, right? This is taking that, that ride, taking that new direction, going, just leaving it behind, leaving something behind that has been troublesome. Yeah. Ooh, it happens all the time. Nine of Cups reversed. We have somebody here that is lacking inner happiness. They have low self-esteem and they have lack of confidence. This is somebody that is unaccomplished because they, they, they won't follow their dreams. Be careful what you wish for. Be careful. There's consequences for, your, for what you choose, okay? This is not happy. This is not receiving love, not receiving abundance, not receiving prosperity because of the choice. You know, you got to choose. You, and it's interesting because a minute ago, less than a minute ago, it was upright. I shuffled a little bit and it came out reversed. The choice is yours. Happiness or not. What's it going to be? There's consequences. There is. Shit or get off the pop. Good luck. <laughs>